Well, what was happening uh, psychologically? They're just becoming bored and restless if they were high sensation seekers. They were low sensation seekers. They were they weren't too. They were fairly comfortable unless they were had high anxiety trait. They were. We we measured actually how much they would move around. We could actually measure their restlessness. At the beginning, first three hours, there was no difference. But as time went on, the highs began more and more restless, twitching, turning, you know, on the bed. They began to sing to themselves, even though they knew they weren't supposed to speak or stimulate themselves. They began to stimulate themselves. So that was the expression of it. Um, uh, if you go a long period, what's happening in the brain is over longer periods of time, even over shorter periods, is that the, the brain waves are slowing down. The basic arousal patterns in the brain, the, the alpha waves, are getting slower, okay? And that, to most people, is unpleasant. I mean, you know, to go below your optimal level of arousal for any prolonged period of time becomes unpleasant. And if you give them any kind of stimulation in sensory deprivation, even looking at uh, meaningless blotches of color, they will avidly press a bar to do that. In other words, they're being deprived of something variety and variety of stimulation. And when you deprive people of that, that is very aversive to them. Okay, It's one of the ways of, of torture, actually, of, of putting people. It's not just the social and sensory deprivation when you put someone, you know, it's the sensory deprivation. Uh, you put people in, a, in an environment, they may not be under sensory deprivation, but if nothing is varying in their sensory environment, it is becoming increasingly aversive. No, it's not humane, and it's not, it's not uh, and uh, uh, over solitary confinement, it's called, you know, in prisons, when they want to punish them, and they put them in solitary confinement, which is usually a sensory deprivation as well, because there, even if there's light in the cell, there's no variation, okay, nothing is changing, no one to talk to. You know, part of social isolation is the lack of social stimulation, okay. So, um, uh, this, this is, uh, over time, is very torturous, you might say. It's a, it's a mental torture uh, of a sort that's, that is very, can be very effective. The uh, torturers often uh, usually isolate their prisoners before they begin interrogating them because then they respond, their, their tendency to respond to any stimulation, even interrogation, is more, is more primed by the lack, by the sensory deprivation.